number one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Now, ladies and gentlemen, breakfast with Karen and Aaron. I tell you, radio is a world that has to be believed to be seen. Starts now. You know what that means? It is two Friday to finally. We are 25 to 10. You're on breakfast with Karen and Aaron. My name is Karen Fletcher. The handsome, brute of a man over there, his name is Aaron Moike. And we'll be your host right through until the top of the hour. Well, Drew kicking it off with New Zealand Music and his track tonight. And we love to celebrate New Zealand Music Month. Kare kore, a i te pera hoki te ahua mo tēnei marama katoa ko tātou tērā ka hapai ngā waiata waute aru ake a e ka hawhiki whakawhiti korero a ki te tahau ngā kai waiata waute aru a a ke ano hoki. Nō reira, nō māo ko Aaron te maringa nui te tuku i ngā mihi a ki te tehi o ngā tino taniwha o te ao pūoro. It gives us great pleasure uh, to introduce our uh, next artist today. And again, in celebration of New Zealand Music Month, he is really no stranger uh, to the music scene here in Aotearoa. In fact, sadly enough, he's he's almost a stalwart and uh, yeah. Yeah, a legend, <laughs> like an old schooler, or I don't know, how would you put it? Well, in your senses, he's an old schooler because you're a young and so you kind of were brought up on his music, eh? <laughs> That makes him sound really, really old. He's not old. He joins us live on air this morning, former member of Nisha Mystic. Awanui Rina is online with Kia us this morning. Fine, How are we going? Kia ora, yeah. Good, thanks, my bro. Yourself? I'm wonderful, bro. I'm oh. wonderful. Does that make you a little sad? <laughs> what, that he's old? Nah, it doesn't. And, uh, no, bro, it just means I'm good at what I do. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> A man with confidence. Hum- humbly, of course. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> what, about, what about the line formerly of Nisian Mystic? I mean, M- Nisian Mystic made up such a big part of your musical career. Now you're kind of venturing into your own little thing. How does that make you feel? Uh, it's just a progression of what I do, I guess. You know, hmm. uh, we had a great one, uh, great run with Nijin, yep. and um, and you know we're very proud of what we achieved. You know, we hold the most top tens in New Zealand history, mm. and we did that at 25. Um, you know, Neil Finn, who, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and we, um, you know, we had a we had a, a brilliant time, and it was an awesome time for NZ Music. And um, you know, I, through that whole time, I guess I'd be writing um, songs on my own anyway. So really, I, I'm you know I'm just finishing. Finishing the songs now on my own, and um, it's cool. You know, I still jam with Dave from Nisha Mystic. Yes, uh, he's my main wingman when I write for myself, but I also write for a lot of other artists all around the world. So, you know, he's my main man when it comes to that. And um, and for when we travel and do acoustic gigs, like I'm back and forth to Hawaii quite often. Yep. Luckily, I do well over there with my solo stuff. And uh, yeah, so it's been an amazing journey, bro. And really, to be honest, I'm only just finding myself now in terms of the music, and yep. um, it's a really it's a really good place to be. And I noticed that. I mean, and because I, I was, we were kind of joking about it before. It's like it's like Awa can't really be by himself because <laughs> the yeah. amount of collabs you've done is just truly ridiculous. But it really does help you grow as an individual artist, doesn't it? Being able to feature uh, well, with so yeah, many different yeah. artists well, it's and just, then kind to be of honest, your I enjoy collaboration, mm. and um, you know, I, that's one thing that I that I think I'm you know really good at, mm. and. Um, and I like to give people the opportunity too, because you know I'm I'm very lucky. I have my own label, and I have a deal to Warner, and you know that kind of thing. And I'm in charge of my own musical destiny, really. So it's nice to be able to give, you know, fellas a chance. Like you know, um, like it's nice to have Shay on a, on a song. You know, not yeah. really a highlight for my career, but you know he hasn't really done it in a while. So it was nice to bring him back into the foray, I guess. And also, you know, Tio Mika from the House of Shem, like, yes. yeah. you hear a couple of their songs, but, you know, in terms of mainstream radio here in Tamaki Makoto, they don't get that much play. So it's nice to get artists that I look up to and I admire and that I know personally mm. and to be able to jam with them, do what we love and also help them cross over on mainstream a little bit. So it's just, just looking after the boys, really. Mm. Is it quite hard to crack into the Hawaiian market? Because when we saw you start and collaborate with Hawaiian musicians such as Anuhie and, and Nijin Nan, we were like, oh, this guy. <laughs> yeah. He knows what he's doing. Uh, I think I owe a lot to Catch a Fire. I think they do a great job over there. And, you know, they've set the platform for all their own music. Um, but, you know, it's and, um, and Kaylee, of course. So, um, you know, um, just really awesome. And bro, I got to, you know, I got to hang with Cliff Curtis and yeah. Tim Werner Morrison. And, you know, they're Fanonga too, but it's, it's nice to just with them and, and admire how much they've done, bro, because it's amazing, you know, our, our people are doing well all over the world. 
Yeah, look, look, you, you look great on television. Kat looked wonderful on television. Kaylee, amazing thing, did his thing as well. But I have to ask the question: Was Tammy wasted the whole time you guys were filming, or how did I, that look? Work? I, I look, I won't lie. Um, <laughs> you know, part of our pre-ritual to make sure we were in top mode for the show and make sure you know we were at our peak. Yes. Um, was down in a couple of boxes before we went on, and um, you know, obviously. Obviously, that just takes the inhibitions away and we stop caring. So uh, yeah, that's why I make good television, bro. Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> oh. I wish our radio show could be like that. <laughs> it's all right, boys. You can. No one's going to see you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Awa, thank you very much for joining us on the show, bro. We really do appreciate it. Thanks for taking time out. And uh, just quickly, look, your album is doing exceptionally well mm. here in Aotearoa, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's doing really well. The pre-sales went really well. And um, had my release party. That was sold out. So um, it's just a testament to our support for Aotearoa music, I think, and to our whanau out there. If they can't afford to buy my EP on iTunes, I'd really appreciate that. But if you can't get to play, just buy a song. Or even not even even if you don't even like my music, go and support our New Zealand musicians. As I said, it's only, you know, we only get one month to really say how awesome we are. And um, and we need to help our artists because it's hard slog out there for most of us. So, um, yeah, no, your, your support is actually true. Truly valued. So um, thank you if you do. And if you haven't already, go and buy one. Thanks for joining us, bro. Hopefully this will become a regular thing we get to catch up, not necessarily just for New Zealand Music Month, bro. Yeah, choice, bro. Sounds good, boy. Thank you for having me on the show. Awesome. Man. Awesome. Uh, there you go. Awanui, a reader, for, formerly of the group, uh, of course, and he's a miss. Great to have him on the show this cool morning. Cool cat. Very cool dude indeed. And this is one of my personal favourites from his EP album. Uh, it's me up with House of Shemur Te from the from the, um, yeah. from the group. And this is their track, Back in My Life. Yeah. You're locking into Breakfast with Karim and Aaron right here on the number one iwi station in New Zealand. Oh, that is right, I said it. It's too funny to add a far noise. <laughs> More than AD.